Hey, welcome everyone. This is Peter Hahn. Welcome to a new little video on the process of making a new sketch illustration for the cover of a package of design uh, under Plastic Cell, who um, we've been working together on being able to produce this uh, piece of art. That's going to be for the packaging of the new Donatello sculpture that's being produced. And I want to talk a bit about the process in which, you know, I took to get to this point. And what you're seeing at the moment is actually the final drawing illustration uh, to be applied towards that packaging. Now, of course, I did actually submit a couple of thumbnails and drawings uh, to share with the guys over at Plastic Cell to give them an idea as to what I was thinking of as an interpretation towards how I felt Donatello would kind of uh, exude a certain personality. So a couple of the drawings that I produced actually more focused on, you know, just kind of the typical action-oriented shot, more standalone shot, uh, which kind of emphasized the visual look of what the character had. And um, I don't think it necessarily really captured the exact personality of Donatello, I would say. But definitely once I hit this drawing, uh, this one where I didn't have to necessarily overthink. And I think when I was overthinking a little bit, where I was just, again, visualizing more of what Donatello looked like, it's where I produced a sketch or a pose that wasn't necessarily the most compelling. Uh, which then led to this drawing here, where I thought more about what he did, his inner thoughts and personalities and interests that he kind of kept. And uh, Donatello being definitely the more the, the smart, smartest of the group, playing a lot on technology, uh, was kind of the you know the base personality that was you know written for him when developing the uh, the cartoons and such. So that definitely uh, I, I jumped on that uh, personality and being able to push further so that the cover and the packaging really stood on its own. Where um, having like I said a, a regular pose could have been done, and I think it would have worked just fine as well too. Uh, but at the same time, I don't think it wouldn't have been as memorable nor as strong in terms of communicating the, the character design of Donatello. And um, so I was really happy to be able to work with Plastic Cell and the guys over there and uh, getting feedback and thoughts as to what they also wanted as, as well too. So after submitting three sketches and getting an idea of it, uh, this was the one that we kind of settled on. And uh, from there, I was able to start beginning to actually go straight in and draw the actual final illustrations, uh, drawing-wise, line-wise, uh, where I had the initial sketches, thumbnails, which I'm now kind of working off of. So I don't do necessarily any kind of underlay. Uh, I wasn't doing a pencil sketch under this one. I do a lot of uh, thumbnailing for especially client work. And I think it's important that you visualize and share your ideas and thoughts. But from there, having a good idea as to what I wanted to go for, uh, there was no real hesitation as to how I need to start this illustration where I'm able to go straight in to capturing the same energy and, and also the type of imagery that was happening within the thumbnail and if not better. So through the actual action of thumbnailing, which is crucial for any artist to go through, uh, I'm able to now not hesitate and jump straight in and be able to complete this in even a short amount of time. Uh, have, after having done this line drawing, of course, we'll definitely go into digital painting. Uh, I'll be coloring it up and, of course, applying it to the cover of the packaging. Um, I wanted to focus more on the, the process of the drawing initially. to kind of talk a bit, a bit more about how you know the mentality goes into creating the actual art for the image. And of course, the fun factor behind it, you know, this particular scene, you know, kind of shows the the kind of the mentality of what Donatello is like, who I kind of assume as being someone a little bit more neurotic, uh, hyper focused, you know, definitely really into the interests uh, of things that maybe his brothers are not. And uh, having those kinds of interests specializes him where each brother definitely has their own specialities. Uh, but Donatello focusing on more on the tech aspect of it, uh, of course, is a lot of fun to kind of extract out as a visual where I think a lot of the other brothers are more physical in terms of their personal uh, attributes and whatnot, where Michelangelo is definitely more the, the you know, excited, hyper, you know, active, tender individual kind of uh, that looks to party and whatnot, right? Then Raphael being more the physical type of being constantly working out, you know, the, more on the emphasis on dominance and aggression. And Leo, of course, still being physical on the side of being with the control, uh, the temper, to lead. Uh, but Donatello is, I think, still really the only character on top of either, of like, let's say, Splinter, their masters, being someone who's more the mental aspect of it, uh, focusing on being able to um, use their mind more than just their body, which Donatello still also has. Uh, and he has that advantage of, of a weapon that, you know, gives him not only, you know, the, the ability uh, to be extremely effective offensively, but also really effective defensively. And um, as you go into the, the mental aspect of it, which give them that same capabilities of being able to create uh, technological advances that give them both ends of offensive and defensive. So he, he becomes then that really crucial member that is able to then bridge the physical aspects of things to then being able to take advantage of 
the mental aspect of it on the technology side. Um, so I think in actuality, you know, Donnie is actually one of the more uh, unique characters within the grouping of the brothers, which, you know, the other ones are, are definitely a bit, in my personal opinion, a little bit one note. Uh, but there's so much potential more depth, you know, within Donatello's, within the, the functions, what they can do. And of course, if you talk about, you know, the, the personality types and the insights behind their their minds and how they think and how they process, of course, all brothers, you know, definitely have their own uniqueness and, and things they struggle and deal with. Uh, but it's, you know, like I said, the capabilities of what they offer within the team is uh, interesting to see coming from someone specific like Donatello. At this point in the sketch and the drawing, you know, now that I kind of laid out the entirety of the composition, uh, going straight in with the line, and the tool that I'm using right now is a Pigma brush pen. Uh, this is a waterproof ink, and I'm now going in there using the advantage of that pen, which has a softer nib, a bit of a, like a brush pen in a lot of ways, but it's not a sable brush pen, it's a felt tip brush pen. And I'm able to kind of push in on that to get these nice line variations of heavy and light. So it gives me a lot more range of being able to execute this, um, you know, being able to move in and out, lightly constructing, but also to be able to indicate heavy darks and shadows. So I don't have to necessarily change tools and I'm able to actually just jump in there uh, and with a single, single action, go from light, quick movements to setups to then really intensifying values and contrasts and focusing on areas. So uh, the tool has a lot of benefits on being very versatile, which I think uh, connects well to the character's personality here as well too, as we talked about that real quickly. So in any case, uh, thanks for watching you guys. I hope you guys found this a little bit informative and uh, please take a look at you know some of the additional feeds and work from Plastic Cell. Look forward to Donatello and the Further Brothers coming out at some point in the future. The pre-order is up for Donatello, so you're welcome to go up there and grab one if you can as soon as possible. They're very limited. Unfortunately, you know, the first uh, turtle is gone, but Donnie, you still have a chance to go again. And hopefully we'll, we'll be doing a package deal at some point in the future. But uh, do support. And um, I, I thank you guys for watching and checking this out. And uh, if you have any other comments, information, response, or feedback, we'd love to hear from you. And uh, thanks for checking out Plastic Cell and Peter Hostile.